All right, number eight. Here's another problem where we have a shape inside of a shape, and we're supposed to find the area of the space in between. So just like before, our strategy needs to be um, what are we going to subtract from what? Um, go ahead and think about that for a second. All right, hopefully you're thinking, uh, since the outer shape is this rectangle, we need to start with the rectangle. We need to find the area of that rectangle, but we sort of have two different things we need to subtract. We need to subtract the area of the full circle, and we also need to subtract the area of the half circle, the semicircle. All right, so that's our strategy. Um, once again, the formula for the area of a rectangle is base times height, so we'll be doing that. When it comes time for the circle, we will be doing uh, pi r squared. Um, when it comes time for the semicircle, we'll still be we'll be taking the pi r squared um, that we did over here but we'll just take half of it since it's half of a circle so we'll take it and we'll divide it by two or we'll multiply by one half whatever you want to call it we'll take half of this um, so let's get to it well, let's see well this side of the rectangle is 48 okay so that's this right here okay that red line I just drew is 48. Uh, that's the diameter of the circle. Now, um, what if I drew the diameter horizontally? How long would that diameter be? Well, hopefully you're saying uh, 48 because the diameter of the circle should be the same length whether I draw it vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So, the vertical diagonal is 48, but if I were to erase that diameter and draw it horizontally, okay, the diameter should still be 48. It should not matter that I drew it horizontally. It's the same distance. So that is 48. Um, okay, well if the diameter of the circle is 48, Right. Imagine that the center is right about there. Um, what do you think the radius of the circle is going to be? I feel like I should switch colors while you're thinking. Okay. I'm hoping that you were thinking that the radius of the circle would be 24. Okay. Because 48 is the diameter. The radius should be half of that, so that's going to be 24. Now, if you put that all together, that should give us the length of the, uh, the side of the rectangle. Okay, so get ready to tell me what the length of all this is. The length of that side of the rectangle. What's uh, 48 plus 24? So that's going to be 72. Okay, so this length up here is 72. All right, I think that gives us everything we need to uh, calculate the area of our three pieces here. All right, fine. Let's start with the. Uh, area of the rectangle. That's base times height. So that's uh, 72 times 48. Alright, so we're doing 72 times 48. Okay. Um, we might as well go ahead and finish that off. See, what is 72 times 48? Alright, that's 3,000 Four hundred fifty-six. All 
Okay, that's the area of the rectangle. Now, we're supposed to be subtracting the area of the circle. The area of the circle is pi radius squared. So that's pi times 24 squared. All right, so that's 24 squared is 576. So that's minus 576 pi. All right, that's the area of the circle. Um, now we're supposed to subtract half a circle. Well, let's just take our 576 and divide that by 2. That gives us 288. Alright, still got the pi on it though. So minus 288 pi. Okay. Alright, I'm just making a note that we took, we, were, we just divided by 2 on that. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, the 576 pi and the 288 pi, those are like terms. So we can go ahead and put those together. So that's going to give us 3,456 minus, let's see, 576 plus 288 is 864. All right, so 864 pi. Okay, this would be the exact answer. Okay, or the decimal would be 741.66 square centimeters.